See you later. Take care. I suppose firstly, I mean, the actual timescale was fairly quick on this like, show. We kind of, Peter, the uh, commissioner, kind of contacted the artists and, uh, you know, with a, with a kind of proposition that you can't really turn down, you know, it's like think about it for about 30 seconds and then it's, yes, I would like to be in the Venice Biennale, that would be good. Because of the idea of representing a country or not necessarily from it, it was a kind of, like, a, I, I don't know, a little while just to work out how that would work. And, um, after kind of site visit here and trips to Kiev um, in, in Ukraine, we kind of just had to start work immediately. So I think that was the main difference: the speed and kind of it was been it's been quite intense for I think all of the um, sort of non-Ukrainian artists. We've really had to sort of work out and uh, how our work fits into this position, um, which is an interest. You know, it's an interesting problem. It's it's just something that takes a little bit of thought. The problem of location like, is sort of inherent with any sort of site specific work and that's something that I quite often do and that does really um, start off with really simple things like making maquettes of works, um, making kind of like pho you know, Photoshop mock-ups of the, the piece. Um, it is odd but it's just, you know, this sort of, uh, th this kind of displacement, it's not, it's a different kind of studio practice, it's not something where you can kind of, you know, finish it, put it up on the wall and to be honest, the, the, the you don't get a complete sense of the work until it's installed here. Obviously, things look slightly different. We did have a strange sort of situation yesterday where we went out on the river to look at the sculpture, and it looks almost exactly like the photo mock-up. Like, it looks as if somehow we photoshopped a sculpture onto the landscape. So that was kind of quite gratifying, because I did sort of feel like, yeah, maybe I even know what I'm doing, you know, with this kind of practice now. Um, with my digital works, obviously, the scale of them is sort of means that I never really see them. Um, I see them at the printers kind of unrolled, but I never see them installed until we actually visit the site. So that's always quite exciting, stroke worrying. But, um, do as much preparation as possible in terms of, you know, like scale, format, lighting, and all these kinds of things, but there's always a certain kind of unknown quantity. But to be honest, I quite like that. It's quite exciting, and uh, it's certainly been part of the way that I've been working for about the last five years.